Dr. Byrne, in a nutshell, what is transactional analysis? It's a system for understanding people's behavior, for trying to change people's behavior, and for predicting people's behavior. At the risk of pinning you up against a wall, how is transactional analysis different from other forms of analysis? I think the main difference uh, seems to be that it's in simple language. And, for instance, a lot of the reviews of the book have said uh, this is written for laymen as a sort of a derogatory kind of criticism. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't written for laymen. It was written for professionals. But it just happens that it is possible to say very complicated things about human beings in simple language. Well, does transactional analysis conflict with any of the existing forms? No, it doesn't conflict at all. In fact, it, it supplements them and it forms a, let's say, a basis for using any of the others. It's a very good preparation for any of the others. Since its publication in 1964, The Games People Play has become a surprise bestseller because it struck a responsive chord with its readers. Written for practicing analysts by psychiatrist Dr. Eric Byrne, it explains in ordinary, understandable terms a startling theory of human relationships. Startling because of its simplicity. Dr. Byrne's theory explains that the interplay between human beings can be understood in terms of the benefits that each receives. Called transactions, these games are one of several ways that we structure our relationships in order to keep our psychological distance from other people and prevent genuine intimacy.